Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So here we have to solve this complex integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Residue theorem is mentioned there, but it is nothing but Cauchy's residue theorem. I will start with a given integral. I will call it as i. Okay. So let us write. We have i is equal to integration over c e raised to 2z upon z minus pi i cube dz. This is a given integral. The next important thing is that curve c. Let us draw the curve c, whatever the circle I think, yes, circle we have, and then we will go further. Where c is the circle. Okay, so what we have circle mod z minus 2i is equal to 2. To draw the circle, we need to know its center and radius. What will I do? I will compare the given equation with standard equation of circle. Then we will get center and radius. The standard equation of circle is mod z minus z0 is equal to r. z0 is center of a circle. r is radius of a circle. Will you tell me what will be the center and radius here? You can simply compare given equation with this one. So you can easily see the center, which is Z naught here. And we have two I here, two I, two I, two I means two plus zero I. Two is a real part. Zero is a real part. Two is a imaginary part. That means point is zero comma two. So this is the center radius for that. You need to simply compare right hand side R is equal to two. So the given circle is a circle with center 0, 0,2 and radius 2. Let us draw the circle first. Imaginary axis, real axis, okay. Let us have some scaling 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, okay. One, minus 1, like that. Center is 0, 0,2, it is here. 0 comma 2 radius is 2 radius is 2 that means it passes from this point this point on this side 2 on this side 2 so the circle passes through these four points let us draw the rough sketch of a circle so we have a circle like this okay let us move further the next important thing is a function so let me write a given function we will call it as f of z we have our f of z is e raised to 2z upon z minus pi i cube. This is a given function. Okay. So we have to find a value of this integral with the help of this Cauchy's residue theorem. So now it's time to recall the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem. Then we can plan how to solve this problem. That Cauchy's residue theorem says integration over c f of z dz is 2 pi i sum of residues. That means according to this theorem, we have to find for singular points, means point where denominator is zero or you say function is not analytic. We check those points are lying inside the circle or outside the circle. If point lies outside, no need to worry, no need to find any residue. But if any point lies inside, we have to find residue at that point. We take the sum of all such residues and the product with 2 pi i, which will result in value of integration. That means we solve the integration with the help of residue concept. Okay. So the same procedure I'm going to use to solve this problem. So obviously our task is to find its singular point. Singular points that means generally we say where the denominator is zero. You can easily see if I put z is equal to pi i, pi i minus pi i, you will get zero in denominator. That means pi i is a singular point. Here, z is equal to pi i is a singular point. So now the next question is, does that point lie inside? Or we have to check it is outside getting. So let us see the location of that point. The point is z is equal to pi i. It means 0 plus pi i. 
real part is 0 imaginary part is pi so 0 comma pi means you know 3.142 so let us find that point okay 0 comma so real part is 0 that means it lies on y axis imaginary axis 3.14 it is here so this is pi i so this point lies inside c it means we have to find residue at that point so let me clearly mention it lies inside c it means by to apply Cauchy's residue theorem we have to find residue at that point and you can easily see it is a, see a pole of order 3 z is equal to pi i is a pole of order 3 so now it's time to find residue getting so how to find residue we have a definition of residue with the help of it we can find but see definition involves Lorentz series expansion it will be very um, lengthy task if you go for the definition if you find a Lorentz series expansion it will take a more time to solve the problem so instead of that if the given singular point is a pole we have very simple formula to calculate residue fortunately z is equal to pi i is a pole its order is 3 you can see the power of this bracket which is 3 okay so it's a pole of order 3 so we can apply the simple formula to calculate residue so residue of f of z at z is equal to pi i at z is equal to pi i right okay so i will write the formula first the formula says 1 upon n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to pi i n minus 1 derivative z minus pi i raised to n f of z so according to the formula of residue okay we have like this n is a order of that pole so order of pole is 3 it means at a place of n we should put 3 everywhere so 3 minus 1 we get 2 factorial limit z tends to pi i here also 3 minus 1 2 it means we have to find second derivative z minus pi i n is 3 f of z which is e raised to 2 z upon z minus pi i cube so will you guess the next step our favorite task cancel out the bracket getting let us cancel out that's it finish it means inside the bracket we have just e raised to 2 z okay so let me write 1 upon 2 factorial means 1 by 2 so limit z tends to pi i second derivative okay of what e raised to 2 z see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us find derivative now okay so see this is equal to 1 by 2 limit z tends to pi i see here we have to find double derivative we cannot find double derivative okay first time we will apply the first derivative and then i will apply the second derivative this is a process so i am writing a single derivative outside and i am taking its derivative derivative of exponential function is same e raised to 2 z but after a chain rule but uh, using chain rule we have to take derivative of this power also derivative of 2 z is 2 okay so this is first derivative of this e raised to 2 z 2 is constant it will come outside and that 2 will get cancelled with this 2 so we will have limit z tends to pi i derivative of e raised to 2 z so this is equal to limit z tends to pi i derivative derivative of exponential function is same e raised to 2 z but again derivative of 2 z 2 right so in this way we calculated both derivatives now it's time to apply the limit z is equal to pi i we have to put here so this is equal to 2 e raised to 2 pi i right so this is equal to i am sure you are familiar with this relation e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta so this relation we can use now at a place of theta what we have 2 pi so i can write this is cos 2 pi 
प्लस आई साइन टू पाई डू यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस टू पाई कॉस टू पाई इज वन एंड साइन टू पाई इज जीरो सो लेट अस पुट द वैल्यूज टू वन एंड दिस इज जीरो जीरो इंटू आई जीरो सो वन प्लस जीरो वन इंटू टू टू सो द रिक्वायर्ड रेसिड्यू इज टू राइट so only one singular points we had and we calculated its residue also so it's time to use cauchy's residue theorem just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us apply cauchy's residue theorem okay so by cauchy's residue theorem cauchy's residue theorem integration over c e raised to 2z upon Z minus pi i cube d z is equal to two pi i sum of residues. But see in this example we have a single residue, which is uh, two. So let us put it here. Two into two pi i it is four pi i. So this is required answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.